Welcome to our new home. It will be a video. I'm terrified. This is the entrance to our property. It has a bit of a driveway that we just have to go all the way down. But already here you can see the whole land of the property starts. To the right we have a mini forest which we really like. And to the left we have a really big field. You're gonna come along? <laughs> okay. We have mostly chestnut trees but also a couple of hazelnuts we think. Oh and an oak I see. And then some other plant varieties that we don't recognize. It's a bit of a windy day. So, One of the things we really liked about this property and that is also causing us a lot of headaches to be honest is the fact that it's mostly off-grid. So we get our water from a stream that the eight neighbors of the area have come together and built infrastructure to supply everyone and it comes from somewhere up there down to where that water tank is and then directly to the house that water tank is supposed to be as a backup they've never had any issues here in the area before at least that's what they told us and that is only in case there is an issue with the filters or i don't know any eventuality that can take place however these past days we have had water issues we still don't know why it might be because of the drought or it might be because one of the neighbors has left a tap open they're a bit you know mindless like that they're used to having water all the time so they're not very worried about it and when we went to connect that water tank to our system as a backup it was filthy and we couldn't use it so in the future we definitely have to take care of that and we want to create a much bigger backup system because we don't know what climate change is going to do in the area and we have to be prepared i also love that tree it's stunning i haven't even walked up there myself you have but i haven't but yeah this whole field belongs to our property and it's really beautiful however what did really save us this past days is that we have a stream starting in our own property it's really good quality water and because we have this stream on our property we were able to shower get drinking water etc just by taking water out from here with that hose that warner set up very very fancy system it worked well <laughs> the water is freezing though so the showers were extremely uncomfortable <gasps> Oh my god, it's so cold! But apart from that, we were very lucky to have this and yeah, we feel grateful that we will always have this back up in our own land. What a view! This is what we see as soon as we park at the entrance of our property next to the house. It's just stunning and it's honestly the biggest selling point of this place. This is the back of the house and we have our little windmill going absolutely crazy with the wind today. I think here was a path that they used to take to the house but it's completely overgrown so we'll have to take care of that at some point. We just walk up this way and around to enter our home. This is our current storage for wood and the wood that came when we got the place. The shelter for it is in a really bad state. Warner tried to fix it up a bit, but still this cannot do because the wood will all get wet whenever it rains. And that's just very unhandy when you live in a place where it rains a lot. But at least we have some wood to get us started. And over the coming weeks, we're gonna have to work really hard to get the rest of the wood we need for this winter to survive this winter. Because our heating, I didn't say that we have a fireplace, our heating goes with firewood. So we're gonna be working on that for sure. There in the back, you can see our solar panel system. It is our first time having a solar panel system so we're still trying to figure it out but what we know so far is that we don't have enough panels and that the battery system is also not strong enough so we'll definitely have to improve it in the future but for now we have enough energy to have electricity and Warner's computer is running. It's true that we've had only sunny days so far so I don't know if this is a good testament to the system working but at least for now it is and we will be improving it in the coming months because it's very important for us to be able to live here and work here with enough energy.
Here we're at the entrance of the house and our porch. This space needs a lot of work, but we'll have to take care of it in the more medium to far future. <laughs> we don't have the capacity right now. This is the sitting area, obviously. And it's nice that it's covered for all the times it will be raining here so we can sit outside. But the whole roof will have to be fixed and replaced. And so will the wooden structure, especially there in the corner, but it has a lot of water damage. But for now it's still usable, it's still safe, and we're gonna keep it like this for the longest time possible. The south is that way, so we get a lot of sun here, which is lovely, right? It's that way. <laughs> Just wanted to double check. Now let's head inside. The first thing you'll notice is that the door is very, very short. This cannot be changed. So Warner is condemned to ducking forever. I luckily can just stand. So I don't have to duck even though I involuntarily do it every single time as well. This is the old door. We'll show it later, but the, the old door is pretty cool to look at. Okay, now I'm gonna change my shoes because we are uh, no outside shoes in the house household. We got the house as is and it needs a lot of work, but that was part of the deal. It came with most of the furniture you see and just a lot of stuff. It was filled with stuff. It was filthy as well because they hadn't lived here or cleaned it in a year. There's so much rot poop in this food closet or kitchen closet. Look. <laughs> gross the shower is we know that it's a work in progress it's gonna take us a while to get it to a state where we like it but for now it's livable and that is more than we've had for a very long time something that cannot be changed is that the space is quite dark here the traditional houses didn't use to have windows or if they did they were very small and when they renovated this one they put windows in but they're not huge <laughs> so the house is still pretty dark and we're just going to embrace the cozy vibe but it's not great for video, so sorry about that. We might try to put one of our lights now around so that you can see it in more detail. But this is how it looks without any additional lighting. In case it wasn't obvious, it's a whole open space. And this is the living room. Right now we have garden furniture in it. This is the only furniture we've brought to the house. And it's because my mom didn't need it. She gave it to us and for us it's very handy to have outside. But we've put it in the living room for now because it's way more more comfortable than what was there before which was this tiny black couch that you see in the back till we get a nice couch we're gonna be living with garden furniture in our living room we also have a rug that we got in algeria in october of last year and the centerpiece is obviously the fireplace a huge fireplace that is connected to all the radiators in the house and which will serve as our main source of heat in winter <laughs> The fireplace is not finished off. They just kind of put some bricks, but didn't finish the brickwork. So it's something we're gonna have to take care of in the future to encase it in a way that's a bit more pleasing to the eye. As you turn from the living space, here we have Warner's working setup. We have improvised a desk with a beautiful garden plastic chair that we found here. It's basic, but it's what he needs to work. And then right behind the desk is our dining area. This furniture was all here the table is in a really bad state so we will either replace it or try fix it in the future and the chairs they don't look that bad but they're super uncomfortable <laughs> and that won't do so we will also be getting rid of them but for now it works it's where we sit to have our lunches and dinners and our lunch we mostly have outside for now but dinner we do have in here and I joined directly to the kitchen and we are going to replace it fully in the future first because it's very low it's even low for me and Warner is considerably taller so for him it's super uncomfortable but also it's not really functional we're not enjoying cooking here and for us a kitchen is really important so we will be replacing it in the future but it works for now this furniture piece which we have turned to have better access to it is acting a bit as a pantry space and here we have the pots and pans the stove works with a propane tank that is downstairs and here we have our compost bin which is just a pot that 
that we have taken from outside. This will have to go, this whole air vent system. It does not work. This is acting as a second pantry space for all our fresh fruits and veggies because the lovely fridge doesn't work. Hopefully we can fix it or replace it in the near future. And here is where we keep all our cutlery, plates, etc. Most of the plates and glasses that we have here were already in the cabana and that has been really useful because we don't have anything. We have been living out of a suitcase for so long that coming into a home with nothing can be really difficult. It means you have to get a ton of stuff. You have to spend a lot of money. So for now, us having the plates that they left is really, really handy. Here is this lovely sign that says El Trazo is actually the name of our cabana, of this cabin. In the area, all cabins have unique names and that's how people know your address because we don't have addresses. So ours is El Trasgo. Another thing of this house that is a huge issue, I know I've mentioned multiple, but something that is really problematic is that the wood has been attacked by carcoma. And that's a little beetle that goes in, lays larva that eats through the wood. And then it can really affect the structural integrity of your wood. And when you have a whole cabin that depends on wooden beams, that can be really problematic. We still have the issue in some of the beams, so we're gonna have to be taking care of that. And at one point when we have the money, we will get an exterminator to come here and really properly treat the whole house. Luckily, right now the damage is only visual. If you go to any of the wooden surfaces in the house, you'll see they have little holes in them and that's a bit of a shame, but the structural integrity is still fine. There are no issues with that. The floors are nice. I like the floors. When we got the place, the, the floors were warped. They had like peaks in them in some spots. I don't know how to explain that other than, yeah, the boards were like this. And that's because when they installed it, they didn't install them with enough spacing. And then when the wood has expanded for either humidity or I don't know what else can be, the wood warped. But luckily, since we've been here, I think because we've heated up the place and dried it out and aired it, the wood has leveled out again. And now it's not really noticeable. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the flattest surface on earth, but it's not noticeable. It doesn't bother us at all. However, we will have to think about that in the future, how to create enough spacing so that the wood can expand and contract without warping the whole flooring. But I like it. I think the floor is nice. I really dislike that they filled in everything with cement. First, it's not good because stone walls are supposed to breathe and cement prevents that. It's not healthy for the house that they finished it off with cement and not with lime. But also visually it's gray and I really dislike this cement finishing. I have to research what we can do about this. I mean obviously we cannot take all the cement out. That would be a crazy amount of work. We would have to rebuild the house from scratch. But perhaps we can give it a sort of wash over top to take out the gray tint and make it all lighter somehow. A real dream project for the really far off future would be to fix the roof because we don't think it's very well installed and then put skinny skylights in certain parts so that we have more light in the house. I think it would improve the space a lot. Now we're going to show you what it will be I think the hardest room in the house to film because it is very dinky and small Ooh, and squeaky. First let's give a moment the light switch. I think I've never seen a light switch like this. It is very unique. <laughs> We're gonna change that. <laughs> We're gonna change so many things. But this is the bathroom in the top floor. It is quite small, but it has everything we need. Shower, toilet, sink. And it's the one that we're using. There's a bigger bathroom downstairs that we will show you later, but we don't never feel like going down. So in the end, we use this one and I'm happy with, with it as it is right now for the short term. In the future, we're for sure going to change this. We don't know yet if we're going to try divide the shower and the toilet and sink because of the layout of the of the cabin it's kind of difficult to know where to fit it we need more space clearly but we're gonna get creative with it and make a really i want to make a lovely beautiful bathroom i'm really excited about that when in doubt shove it in the closet ah. <laughs> okay let's start again
This is our bedroom, the main bedroom. We have the mattress on the ground because it was like that when we got here. Luckily, the mattress was in a really good state. So we're very happy about that and it's quite comfortable. I'm really happy with the mattress. But yeah, the room doesn't, I mean, there's not much to say. It's an okay sized room for us Europeans. Americans would be appalled at the size, <laughs> but Europeans, this is fine. <laughs> this is good. It fits our bed. We will, of course, one day get a, a nice bed frame and and try and make it more comfortable, put bedside tables, change the wardrobe because the wardrobe really sucks. But for now it's there, it's fine. The shelf will come out. We're just using it now to put our clothes that are half dirty, you know, like clothes that you use for a couple of hours and you can use again. But you don't want to put them in the closet. They're going here. And I can't wait to paint the whole house, but especially the bedroom. Something I do want to try in the future, and we, we probably will do it, is remaking the whole structure of the bedrooms and basically the walls that are movable, because these are not structural walls. If you look at the gypsum boards, they're not joined properly. So I really want to refinish the walls. And then when we do redo the walls, we will probably take out these big wooden beams that are purely decorative because the room is already and the whole cabin is already rustic enough there's nothing wrong with rustic but it gets to the point where it's too rustic and i think if we got those elements out it would make the room feel a bit more clean and crisp i want to also figure something out for these rocks that are coming out of the wall they obviously have to stay but because of their rugged texture they accumulate a lot of dust and they're very difficult to clean i can't stand the idea that they're just filthy <laughs> and on top of our heads. I am thinking maybe of putting a resin coat on the top so that it's smooth and can be wiped more easily. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do, but I, that's something I've noticed in this cabin, that there's a lot of rugged textures of the wood and the stone, and that just means that there's a lot of spots for dust to accumulate, and that makes it impossible to clean everything properly. We'll do what we can, but I do want to try figure something out there. This bedroom is so beautiful at night because we have the window here which doesn't seem like anything special except for the fact that when you're in bed you can look out and you see the mountain with the stars and it's such a beautiful sight every time I wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom there's this really bright star just on top of the mountain and this past days it was like this small crescent moon it was stunning such a beautiful sight and we get to see it from bed so I really like that I really appreciate that view and I can't wait to one day try I capture it with the camera because it's stunning. So yeah, this is the bed. This is our bedroom. All the linens and stuff are things that we've gotten as hand-me-downs and I mean in the future we'll have to get nicer bed sheets and, and a duvet. We don't have a duvet but for now it works. This blanket might not be my favorite aesthetically but it's from my childhood when I lived in India. This and some blankets that we have underneath are from my childhood so I, they just have good memories associated to them. And I didn't say this before but most of the things we're going to do in the cabin we're gonna try to get all the materials secondhand mostly in the Netherlands because in the Netherlands you can get all sorts of furniture and kitchens even and basically everything for free or a very low price if you go pick it up yourself that's something that doesn't happen in Spain everything is super expensive even secondhand things really ugly secondhand things can be really expensive so our plan is to go to the Netherlands with our car and a trailer and pick as much as we can and bring it back and then use those materials to renovate the home which is going to be very exciting because then we are repurposing as much as possible preventing things from going to landfill and saving money which is really important to us in this moment because we got none and this is the guest bedroom where we'll host you if you come see us friends family right now it doesn't look very appealing but it is very clean so Warner scrubbed the whole wall and that's why it has all those patches we will paint it as soon as possible and the beds have this bed sheets to cover from the dust so not very aesthetically pleasing but we have two single beds in the future I think we will make a big double bed so that we can have our couple friends stay here and our friends that come single as well so for them to have more space to be more comfortable but right now it's just the spare bedroom we have another small closet here that we've put just random things in and this bedroom I think is the room in the house that gets the most sun in the afternoon evening because that's the south so there's window lets in a lot of sun and it is nice to see it then but there's not 
not much more to say. This little, you call this a mezzanine? I don't know if it will stay. It could be handy perhaps to have extra mattresses here in case in the future we have a lot of people coming over that we can take them down. But there's a lot of storage in the downstairs floor and perhaps this just accumulates dust. I mean, we're still thinking about it, but I think we probably will take it down in the future and just leave this to be a normal bedroom with no mezzanine. Something I really want to get rid of is all this hardware. It's all this like iron black hardware around the house. And I know it's very rustic Spanish style. It's just not to my taste. So this will be getting rid of all the hardware, changing it out and replacing it and hopefully finding a new home for it. I'm sure someone loves this hardware and I can get it to them. Same with the, the light fixtures. Now, are we heading downstairs? I didn't show this one coming in, but right next to the door are the stairs to the downstairs floor. So this cabin has two floors and luckily the main living space is on the top floor, which makes it more open and nice to be in. A lot of the cabins that are renovated in the area don't have this layout. They have the living room downstairs and the bedrooms upstairs. And that makes for a very dark, dingy living room. So we're very happy that here they did it like this. The downstairs, we haven't cleaned it at all. We've spent a lot of time cleaning and organizing the top floor and decluttering from a lot of things that were left behind and everything has been shoved downstairs. So the downstairs, apart from feeling a bit dungeony in itself, is dirty and filled with crap. So it's more for your own curiosity to see what kind of space we have down there. But I'm warning you, it's not nice. Just prepare. The stairway is okay. It has like these big planks and the cables in the way. Sorry about that. No, come along. This floor is where Warner really struggles with his height. I hope you don't hit yourself during the tour. I'm still fine in most parts, but is this the door, the key to the door? We should have shown the key to upstairs. Anyway, let's start off here. When you get off the stairs, right in front, there's a door. And then here is the tool room, you could call it, shed. It's a room that's filled with things. We've also filled it with a lot of stuff from upstairs and we need to organize it. This room connects to the outside it has the door to the outside and is the bottom part of the kitchen. Then we have a little porch space out there as well. In this room is where we have the washing machine, which we cannot really use <laughs> for now. The water heater and the um, propane gas tanks that I was talking about that we use for heating the water and for cooking. And yeah, in the future, this will continue being the tool room until we do a really big remodel of the whole of the downstairs and we will organize it to have things much better set up and also probably because it stays quite cool here we will create some sort of food pantry system so that we can have a lot of bulk items is there a light here this was supposed to be automatic but doesn't work no i just wanted to point out that this is do you see it in the in the camera at all this is the system that connects to our fireplace and gives hot water to all the radiators we still need to figure it out because it makes a lot of noise but it is very handy to have now, this bedroom, we're gonna have to redo everything. First, you will not see this on camera, but the floor is sloped literally like this. <laughs> I, I will show you later. You can put anything here and it will roll all the way down. So now we have very sloped floors that we will have to break, dig out and level ourselves whenever we do this room in the future. The bottom floor is really not our priority. We're gonna live mostly in the top floor. So for now, it's gonna stay like this but it does have a lot of possibilities in the sense that it's a it is a big space just not a very nice space for now it's very dark we could make it cozy but it will take a lot of work i think the biggest issue here for people is this beam because it's structural it cannot be moved and it's quite low i'm only 170 and i have to be careful not to hit my head so that's something that we will have to take into account whenever we remodel in the future and then if you come this way there's there's a little space, the walk-in closet. Oh, there's a light. Because they put a closet here. It's the part of the room that has access to a window, which is rare down here. So yeah, we'll, we're gonna reconfigure it all. But for now, this is how it's set up. Then here, you can see the old original beams with the stone structure. That's how they do it in the, in the cabanas traditionally. 
and here is the downstairs bathroom which they also redid when we're renovating the bathroom upstairs it's very handy that we have one down here that is functioning it's much bigger so the space is I mean it is a nicer bathroom than upstairs so it's good that we have this but we're not using it so far so it's just a bathroom toilet bidet the sink which has this fountain water feature <laughs> and then behind the door here is the shower which is quite a good size shower the only thing here is that the ceilings are not too tall so for Warner the shower is not good enough to wash his hair <laughs> without bending down but yeah the bathroom is fine it works it works well oh <laughs> and he hit his head. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised it didn't happen earlier. This place is what they called the office because they have a desk set up here, which you don't want this desk for upstairs, it's really low. So they have a, a desk set up here and you will see that all the things on the table are clutter that I took off from upstairs and just shoved here till we figure out what to do with it in the future. And finally down here we have the utility room and this is where we we have the whole system for our solar panels, our wind system, say our batteries, all the things you need. This is something we have to first understand because we don't understand how a solar system works. We really want to learn. But then once we have understood how a solar system works, we have to rewire and reorganize this. Whoever set it up is a quite chaotic person when it comes to placing wires. So if you look at the wall, nothing Thing is understandable there there's wires going everywhere you have no idea what is what we know that the system is creating very little energy compared to the amount of panels we have which doesn't make sense it would lead us to think that maybe some of the panels are either not connected or I don't know there has to be some sort of issue but because everything's so messy we have no idea what to do with it yeah in the future we will completely reorganize this and probably we will have to make the solar system much stronger, get more batteries, get more panels, and just increase its capacity. And for now, this is what we have. Careful with your head. Eh? Let's go outside. This door is even lower than the one upstairs, and here I also have to lean down. Okay. The bottom floor porch is also way messier than the upstairs one, so it's filled with things. But here in the future, this will be where we hang all our laundry, which is really handy so that it doesn't get wet with the rain. And we probably will put wood storage here till we build a better structure so that it doesn't get wet as well. This space is going to be very handy for us in the near future. But as you can see here, it also has to be redone completely. Now we're getting to the outside portion of the tour and this is really the best thing of this place, of this cabana. It's stunning. So come along. So right in front of the cabana or cabin, we have this lovely sitting space, <laughs> which we have used to have all our meals so far. We will make it more comfortable in the future, but it is really nice to be able to sit here and have a look at the views. We also have these four trees. No, five trees, which are fresnos. Fresnos. I don't know the word in English. I will put it in the screen. And we were quite worried about them because if you look at them, none of them have leaves. And we are in autumn. It is October, but it hasn't been cold yet. And no, no trees in the area have lost their leaves except these ones. They really seem to be struggling. So we thought they maybe were sick until our friend and neighbor told us that these trees actually need to be pruned quite a lot and regularly so that they sprout out new branches and leaves and look healthy and these haven't been pruned in years so we are going to have to take care of that pretty soon this one needs a really heavy haircut but so do the others and when you leave them looking sad and bald I always felt bad for the trees but apparently in spring they sprout out a lot of little branches with leaves and it's much nicer to look at it's also very handy that we have to prune this tree because the branches apart from being pretty big they are right next to our cabin and if there were to be 
a storm, it is dangerous that they could fall on the roof and break things. So yeah, this is a task we have to take care of soon. It's a task I'm really afraid of. <laughs> because Warner will have to get up there with a chainsaw, which already sounds way too dangerous. And then I will have to make sure to direct the branches away from the cabin so that they don't fall and break anything. It's just going to be really hard. I wish we knew a tree surgeon that could take care of it for us, but we don't. So we're gonna have to do it ourselves, five trees soon. It will be in video, I'm terrified. Now, if we continue walking this way, we get to what I'm sure a lot of people would really love to have, and it's our own little sauna. I'm looking forward to having friends over and kind of doing that as a social activity. Apart from that, I don't think we will use it unless it's a really cold day, and then it will probably be good to have <laughs> that hot pocket. But yeah, it's a little wooden sauna, and it has a fireplace on the side here on the outside where you put the wood in to burn, and that creates the heat inside and yeah we're looking forward to seeing how it works but supposedly it's good and it's nice to have on the property so clearly we have a place with amazing views if you stand here our field oh it's really windy i hope it doesn't pick up that if you stand here you will see that we have mountains all around basically 180 views of mountain ranges it's so beautiful and it's so beautiful i don't know what else to say that way it will be all snowy in winter this these mountains are always filled with snow and that way you cannot see it in the camera but you actually see the sea you see the ocean and and ships on them once in a while in that direction so we're very lucky to have these views all around And here is something that I'm, I'm really excited for in the future. Maybe what I'm most excited about. So we have this little extra shed cabin space that is legal, which in the area is very difficult to get extra spaces apart from your cabin. So it's really lucky that this space is there. Right now it's a mess, it needs a lot of work. But in the future, when we have the capacity, we want to fix it all so it doesn't have all the water damage on the walls. We also want to insulate it so that it's usable in winter because right now it just is a thin layer of wood and it would be freezing. And and we want to lift this beam so that you can walk in. I cannot even stand. Why, why would you do that? <sighs> Makes no sense. But once this room is remodeled, we want to make it the creative space in our property where we have the sewing machine, Warner's working space to edit, where we can film videos, maybe have a little mini library and we can read here, we can draw, we can paint and just basically spend our days. And I'm so excited about that. It will be such a lovely, lovely little spot and the views are unmatched, we'll show you now. And it's really Really good that we have this because honestly the house is too dark to film videos in so when this space is created it will increase our possibilities for filming a lot however it will take us a long time to be able to get to this space because it will require a lot of work and money but I'm just very excited about the possibilities it's such a such a cool spot and this is what is here right now a random chair a broken window we need to fix that before the wind starts and then they left us a elliptical bike which I might try do exercise on I don't know if not we're gonna sell it and just a bit of random crap but this is just the bones it's more of an idea than anything else it's not really usable right now but in the future I think it's gonna be the best place So this is it, this is our new home. I hope you enjoyed the tour and I really hope you will join us in the future as well as we do all the renovations and fix it up to make it a much more cozy and livable space for us. We are so happy to be here and can't wait to spend the next coming years making this place a real home. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Ciao.